Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the ordered statistics. Today we will see how you can solve this MLE estimators with ordered statistics. So that is if you uh, how you can find the MLE estimator in terms of the ordered statistics we will see here. For example, uh, how you can find the MLE of the parameter theta. So first of all how you can define the likelihood function this is there. You can substitute the value of the f of x i. What is that? That is nothing but my 1. So if you product them it's n times it answer is again be a 1. So what is the meaning of that? 1 if x lies between here. Now what is the rule of the maximization is? This is 0 but if you take them then nothing will be happening. So what will happen if you are not possible to get that? Whenever there is a case of this way where you are unable to find the value of theta from the L we always use the ordered statistics. How you can define the ordered statistics is when the L will be maximum. You can see x r lies between here but you, here x i's are 1 to n. What is the meaning of that? x1 lies between theta half here similarly for the x2 similarly for the x n are there. Now whenever there is unable to find that you can define the order statistics as of this. What is the minimum value of this is here you can write this ordered statistics like this way and of here that is the maximum value of this. Now you can see that when L will be maximum when the L will be maximum you can find the value of can you find the theta from this side this is nothing but my half plus of x1 can you find the theta from this side this is nothing but my here okay so now can you find the range of this that is the meaning of this so can you find the range of this that is nothing but my here what is the meaning of that whenever theta lies between here what is the value of the l l is always be one that is the maximum value so hence the maximum Hence the maximum likelihood estimator for theta is any value which are lies in between them. So what you can conclude from this example, in this example you can see that MLE is not always unique. This is not a unique. Look at some more examples are there. So if XI is follow the uniform distribution find the MLE of theta. So this is the uniform distribution here. You can see that how you can find the PDF of the uniform distribution is 1 upon b minus a. So that is my 1 upon here. Now you can define the likelihood function this. You can substitute the value of here. This. How many times? This is the independent of i. So it will be my this pair. Now you can uh, take the logarithm on the both side to solve the calculation easier. So it will be my log of this. I can write this expression as log of 1 minus log of theta. What is the log of 1? This of log 1 is 0. So it will be my minus log of here. Now to maximize them, what is the rule is? That will be 0. So if you take that derivatives, will, which will be give you here. But you are unable to find the value of theta, which is not possible. Whenever again it is a not possible, then we have to work over the order statistics. How you can do like this way? So we can express of this. Now you can think look about this L our target is to maximize the L when the L will be maximized you can clearly see is L will be maximized when this theta will be minimized. So in order in order to find this expression when that theta will be minimum you can see that because x of n is here you can see this value right from here you can see x of 1 here so what is the minimum value of this. You can see here so the minimum value of this will be x of n. What is the x of n is maximum of here. Hence the MLE of theta is my here. This is the case for the min, um, uh, minimization are there. Look at the another one there how you can find the MLE for this example again. Again you can find this one. You can substitute the value of here. This is nothing but xi minus of this. What is that? This is nothing but my of here. Once you will open this bracket, it will be my minus minus summation of this will be my here. Now take the logarithm on the both side. What will happen? This is nothing but my x i plus n of theta. Now to maximize them, if you take the derivative, it, what will happen is n zero, which is not possible because n is my sample size. So again, it is not possible. So we look for the ordered statistics. Again, we can arrange them for here. Now you can see L will be maximum when you from the expression here L will be maximum when since 
theta consists of the positive sign it means theta is also with a maximum that's the only rule behind that so when the theta will be maximum from here you can see since lies are here so theta will be maximum 1 when since are here so theta will be maximum what is the maximum value of this what is the maximum value of the theta from this expression that is nothing but my x of 1 so therefore the MLE of this parameter theta is my x1 look at the another example is there so uh, you have to find the MLE you have to find the MLE for the median and you have to find the expected value for this problem so let's start with the first one is you have to find the likelihood function you can substitute the value here how you can do that 2 by theta square is constant but it should be the n number of times and product of the xi how you can write that you can simply write like this way this is 2 raised to power n because n can multiply here now you can take it uh, take as a logarithm on both sides so so that it make a calculation simple so it will be my of here now if you take the derivative of this what will happen is so if you take the derivative it will be my here is it possible that it will be zero again it is not possible so we will look for the order statistics so how you can do that this is nothing but my log of this plus of here now how you can do that we can again take of this you can see when the l will be maximum you can see maximum l when it will be maximum when this will be minimum that's a simple here so when it will be minimum from this expression that will be the minimum you can see so this is here so the minimum value of theta is my x of n so what is the right answer of the first one is that is nothing but my x now how you can find the constant value c is such that of here there is a second part how you know that we all know that how you can find the expected value of the x is how you can find this is x of f of x what is that this is the pdf of this x but in this case how you can write that this is this is the x what is that this is the pdf of theta theta i have computed as a x of n so it means our target is to firstly find the pdf of this theta that is the maximum order statistics always knows that how you can find the pdf of the xn is my here where fx is my pdf it is given to you capital fx is my cdf so our target is to find from here f of x is given to you how you find the pdf all of us know that this is from 0 to x here what is that 1 by theta square is outside so it will be my x square now you can substitute this fx small fx value in here you will get the pdf expression is this substitute this value of here what will happen this is nothing but theta is nothing but my x here this is my x this value is nothing but my here so what is that which one is the constant n is constant 2 is constant theta raised to power 2n is constant so what is that this is x raised to power 2n is there so x raised to power 2n integration will be my here you can see that what will happen this is my 2cn upon here this is 2 raised to power n plus 1 upon 2 raised to power 2n of this so 1 will be cancelled out 1 theta is pending that is nothing but my here this also will be cancelled out so you can find the value of c from here is the right answer for this second part last part is how you can find the median so since our target is to find the median what is the definition of the median in terms of the probability so we all know that this is my median definition this is my median definition so what is that i can start from here what is that it is nothing but my x is less than equal to m what is that this is nothing but my cdf of m is there so it means our target is to find the cdf of this so if you have this function can you find the cdf you can easily find the cdf by using this definition 0 to x f of x of dx you can find like here so therefore you can substitute this value m square by theta square is half so you can find the value of theta from this so what is the median is this value so since our target is to find the median of here so therefore the median of the distribution is this now you can find the mle of this so what is the mle of median this is nothing but my since 1 by 2 is constant 
so that is the mle of theta what is the mle of theta is we already computed of the first part that is my here that is nothing but what is that this is x of n by root 2 is the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve this mle problems with the help of this order statistics in our next class we will see some conditional probabilities distribution over the order statistics till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning